the good thing is is that I am in talks next week I have a meeting with another big place in Norfolk that I'll be placing another full line machine at and hopefully fingers crossed it happens one is going to be a makeup machine and one is going to be a soda and snack machine so oh my god you guys wish me luck of course I'm going to keep you updated I'm going to try to bring you along to the meeting that I'm going to have you know low key film some things and fingers crossed because that's going to be my next big machine can you believe a makeup vending machine ah making things come true i had to email my sales pitch to this place in norfolk so pause the video if you guys want to read it and i'll just scroll up for you guys so you can see everything Okay, so this is the meeting that I've been waiting a whole entire month to come to. I'm vlogging on my phone because I forgot my camera and this meeting almost got canceled today, but making sure that person's not staring at me. They emailed me and said, please come. I'm, I'm busy, but you can still come around and look. They actually want the machine. It's just up to me if I want to place it here. There is about 30 people here, which is not a lot, but since it's a big warehouse and the guys are just moving constantly, I think it's the type of place where they're gonna want drinks and food like the other place does because Men who move stuff a lot. They want snacks and looking around It's all the way in the back. So it's not like they have snacks on premises right now So I'm gonna go take a look and I'm gonna film the inside for you guys so you can see I'm excited, you know, and then I have a meeting on Thursday to do the makeup vending machine at the mini small business mall type thing but wish me luck thinking about putting it right here up against this wall and he said that he would move this if it needs to be moved it's pretty big very very big in here i have successfully secured another place this is the building isn't it big i just got out of the office I know two of the people there and we are gonna go get some dinner on Thursday or Friday but I got the location they tried to get commission and I'm like you guys are getting a six thousand dollar like two machines or something it's not six thousand dollars but you guys are getting expensive machines and you're gonna try to get commission no thank you I'm gonna put my phone down because a lot of people are leaving right now awkward location number four is secured Okay, so obviously it's the same day. It's just getting a little later. I finally got out of traffic and I am meeting my supplier of gumball machines at Wawa. I usually meet at his house, but he had to go pick up the machine and I was coming all the way over here. So we just decided to meet up at Wawa and do the transaction there. So stay tuned for either the 30 minute gumball challenge. Okay, so I just picked up my last machine. This is my buyer. Say hi. How you doing? What's your name? Kenny Rogers. Where we meet? At Facebook. Yeah, it's Facebook. <laughs> and the vending group. Which one? Vending Nation? Yes. So he's my forever supplier, hopefully. I'll try. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. I'm hungry. What's up, you guys? So I'm back in my filming room, as you can see. I have a dilemma, and I want to run it by you guys before I do it. Hopefully, this video goes up before I make my final decision. However, my meeting for the makeup vending machine and the normal vending machine is Thursday. As you know, today, Tuesday, I just got out of the meeting to place it in this warehouse, which I'm going to do. My dilemma is my machine that's only making about $50 maybe no more than $60 in Norfolk. Should I keep it there and try to see if it's going to begin to make more money? Because it's a new place, it's a new establishment, so not a lot of people know about it yet. However, they are projecting to have more customers. Since they're just new, they are projecting that more people will be coming. So that would mean that more people are going to use the machine. I've only had the machine there for maybe two months, maybe a month or two, maybe two months, okay? So should I wait it out and see what happens, maybe a few more months? Or should I take that machine and put it into the new warehouse? It's a better chance and then just invest in a CC reader, a Nyack CC reader and put it up there and have the machine moved, paid to move to this new establishment. That's option one. 
Option two is to move this machine into the uh, mall, mall area that I'm going to have the meeting with on Thursday because they might want the vending machine there, the regular vending machine there as well. So does in snacks and move it there. Am I being hasty? Should I give this new establishment a chance? Okay. That is what I am asking you guys. I feel like I know the right answer, but I also feel like I don't. I would save a bunch load of money if I were just to move the machine, but I could also be losing losing out on profit if this place establishment actually does pick up in traffic like the owner says that it will. What should I do? If I choose to keep it in the place that is the game room where it makes $50 a month so far, I would have to invest in possibly two to three more machines. I don't know if I have the funds for that. So money does come into play with this. It's a money game. It's a business. Run it like a business, right? So let me know down below. Um, of course, the decision is not going to be made until maybe two weeks from now. You never know. So you guys, help me. You guys are here on my journey of seeing how I make it in this business, how it's going to turn out for me. So I appreciate your feedback, and I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. Remember, merch is down below. Check out the links to my shirts, and I'll see you guys Thursday. All right, you guys, so it's day two of meetings. I am parked in the city, which costs money, but hopefully this is a good place. If I get a yes for this makeup machine, this is gonna change my whole entire outlook on the business, is gonna change the way I do business, because now I have something that stands me out, stands me apart from the crowd. It's never been done before here. And this is like a good opportunity to see if it works and I hope that it works But at least I tried if it didn't you can't be afraid to try new things Because if you just stay stagnant in what you're doing then you'll never know if What you thought of could actually make it so I'm going in here to pitch both of the vending machine options the makeup vending machine and of course the normal vending machine and I have to walk just a few like maybe like five minutes down the street to get to it all right guys i'm here right now and it's basically like this really small mall and it looks pretty cool so i'm gonna scope it out before the lady comes all right you guys so here's the spot it is a mini mall for revolving businesses it also has a huge library connected to it this is like one of the most popular libraries All the shops go in the middle, and that's where I want my vending machines to go. We have clothing stores. Okay, I could not film any of that that was going on or uh, pick up my phone, but she loved the idea. She made the suggestion that since um, Norfolk, where it's going to be placed, has signed a deal with Carnival Cruises. They are now a really big touristy area. So they made the suggestion that instead of just doing all eyelash and makeup, that I should also include some toiletries in the makeup machine, which I said I will do whatever you need me to do to get into this spot because they are doing very well here. She told me to send up a proposal. And she wants me to do the color pink on the machine and the picture that people said was not professional. She loved the idea. She wanted me to put that picture up. So I'll show you guys right here on Vending Nation. Everyone said no to it, but I'm telling you, what you don't like, other people will like. So I'm glad that I did not get rid of that idea. Actually, let me show you guys on my phone. The picture that I showed her that everyone was like, no, it's not professional. Booyah, <laughs> in your face. All right, you guys, and also she wants my soda and chip machine. She wants it to be pink too. So she said that if you put your own touch on it, it's gonna look like a small business as opposed to just Pepsi and Coke and Doritos getting the profits. Like it's a big company that's doing the vending. Cause she said, I wanted to make it look like you are an actual small business vendor. And 
Hallelujah. I'm so excited. So I'm going to keep you guys updated with the proposal that I do. I am in their bathroom right now. So I'm on a high right now. This whole week has just been so good with business for me. Well, it's not like I'm getting paid, but I'm getting a lot of yeses and a lot of opportunities thrown my way. So I'm going to call the person who I get my vending machines from to see if I can set up a meeting today, like right now. I will update you guys later. Offerup.com. On. And, uh, it's a it's a Mountain Dew machine. Okay. Wow. Twelve dollars so, is really well, good. Yeah. Um. Whatever. I've got another combo machine. Yes. That you bought from me, and um, it, it's it's very very nice. That's but probably the one I want. Okay. Um. Depend, I'm supposed to deliver two machines to Richmond tomorrow, mm -hmm. depending on the weather. Yeah. So if, I, if I'm not going, I will call you, and you're more than welcome to come look, or we can hook up Saturday. Okay, I think um, either a weekday will probably be best. I literally stopped on the side of the road to have that phone call, and there's like people staring at me <laughs> inside their building. All right, it's cold, and it's about to snow, so I need to get my butt back to Newport News.